All right, and we are into champion select between the Kennesaw State University team of Silent Gaming versus Georgia Tech's FMA. That is right. FMA has actually had quite a run through the uh, through the losers, losers bracket. bracket. Yeah. They've been they got into the losers bracket actually um, one round before Silent Gaming did. <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> you thought I wouldn't notice, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So FMA knocked out before. Silent Silent Gaming. Gaming. Yes, that is correct. Um, so both teams on their last leg here. That's right. This is this is their last chance for both of them to get to get that revenge that they have always wanted on LOLA. Uh, so right now the band's coming out of pretty standard. Tom Kent, Trevian, Gangplank coming out from the blue side, and Elise Vi and with any luck, maybe a Darius or a few more. Lux! Oh, Actually a good target ban on Moon. Yeah, it's a great target ban on Moon. So Blue Sides bench the Kench every single time. Gangplank gave him a lot of trouble last time around. They're going to first pick Vigar. Okay, so if she can't have, or if he can't have Lux for the burst, you know, Vagar for the burst, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm just surprised they didn't like just let him have Vagar and then they could just do Galio again. <laughs> yeah, the Galio into the Vagar worked very nicely. Yeah, that was actually a pick that Moon did earlier today. He picked up Galio into a Vagar. I wonder if HyperX does like Vayne regularly, or if that was just BM from Rain because his teammate <laughs> loves Vayne playing lost. Vayne. Yeah, no, I bet you, I, I highly doubt that. They, they have a pretty good idea about why they why they ban out, who they ban out, but I'm surprised they actually missed missed that Echo ban because um, as far from what I've heard, Duo from Heaven actually does play. Interesting. Play a lot of Echo. So you have to wonder if that Echo is uncontainable with somebody like Vigor? because he can do a lot to keep Echo's a very rush at you champion. Yeah. Vigar's a very don't touch me bro champion. <laughs> so maybe some uh, some good to come from that. Yeah, they took away the Morgoth support, so maybe they'll probably pick up the I'm gets... thinking Braum has been pretty classic. We've not seen Lamps play anything but Braum or Morgana. Yeah, I actually would like, um, I wouldn't mind a Nautilus pick in this comp so far. We so did far. see a Nautilus, didn't we? We saw, we saw Lamps play Nautilus with yeah. Ignite. We saw, <laughs> yeah, classic Nautilus Ignite bot lane. Uh, I wouldn't be, like, I'd be interested to see how it would work out, but as of right now, there's not much of their comp that we've been able to see today. I to see want to see Dingus play Diana See again. that Diana again? There's J4, though. Hey, Lucian. I wonder, wonder if they're taking that J4 in that top line, though, because they, they have played a couple games where J4 has been in top. That makes sense, yeah. And Dingus might not want to show his jungle yet, yeah. especially if Echo's being a flex pick. That's right. It'll be, we'll have to see how it goes. Lucian straight into the Morgana again without even picking the support. We don't need a support. Evidently not. <laughs> we do what we want. Definitely taking their time on these picks. I really want to think it out and talk through all of the picks that they can have. For sure. And just taking taking their time. Tristana. Not surprised with the Tristana pick coming out. This is a, Tristana Morgana is very strong. Of course. Gave them a lot of trouble in their last game against Ella too. Yeah. It almost looks like they're taking a page out of LLA's playbook here with Mora and, uh, and the Tristan. Quite possibly, yeah, if they've been ghosting that team for strats. There's the Wukong, they covered it earlier. So they would. Have... I'd have to see if they pick the Wukong up top because we don't know if J4 is going to play jungle or if he's going to top line. So, Either way, it's probably not going to matter too much in lane as both of these guys will just damage each other down really quickly. The big problem will be in team fights when J4 goes to ult and Wukong pulls the Rorschach. You're not, I'm not trapped in here with you, you're, you're trapped, trapped in, in here with, with me. me. Spinning around in a circle, <laughs> yep. Right. It almost makes me, it makes me wonder though because Wukong could go in the jungle and he could put Echo in mid. Yep. And then you could still or top. have... Or top. Or top and then you could still have a flick. Not really. Echo, Echo top lane actually, I don't, I don't think it's that strong. Um, I feel like, like he has to get going to be strong. Yeah, it depends on the matchup. See, let's see what they pick up for a uh, for support in uh, top lane, maybe or yeah, or top lane jungle. <laughs> like these flex picks just keep me guessing. I know they really, keep the casters on their toes. I know, they don't really, I'm not really sure. Uh, Malphite, top. Yeah, looks like it's, they might go Malphite. That would be that would be a strong comp. Into a more drama Wukong. Um, well, because Malphite can still ult even if even if the Wukong. Because he, he is unstoppable. He's an unstoppable force. I get that. It's not the interrupt. It's just there's so much disengage from this team. Yeah. With the Echo ult back, with Tristana rock and jump out. Morgana's going to have her Black Shield. She'll have her ultimate. Wukong can just punish being knocked up by knocking right back up. Yeah. See, Alistair to round it out with support. 
Yeah, but I don't really see... Like, I don't... I don't think Rain really plays many other champions besides Malphite or... Or that Kennen, and Kennen would just be an even worse pick here than Malphite. Yep. Well, there you go, if you're champion locked on it. And it looks like Lulu top? Could or be... Mid, mid, mid. Lulu mid. Could be Lulu mid or Morgana mid and have Lulu support. Because Morgana mid's kind of a thing, too. Because of the wave clear with her. Tormented Soul. Yeah, Tormented Soul. Morgana might actually be a better pick into the mid, just because of the Vygar. Yeah. For that matchup, the one-to-one. -one. For the, the Black Shield. Through the event horizon. Yeah. I don't know that I like Diana as a mid laner, so that was very much telegraphing that but Diana, Diana will be supporting. Diana could go into the demo though, and I think it's still going to The flex picks that they have on their team right now is yeah. just... It's very impressive. They did a really good job figuring out the flex picks that they wanted. Both of these super, super strong teams too. I think... I like Purple Side just a bit better only because of just oh, now I like it a lot better if they pick Lulu. Yeah. Um, Lulu makes it a lot stronger. Because mm -hmm. now you can get the double knockup with the Wukong ult and the Lulu ult. They have so much peel for Tristana. Yeah. They, like Lulu, peel machine. Wukong, peel machine. Morgana, excellent peel. Echo, b banana peel. <laughs> um, he's got he's got some good peel. He's got, uh, he's got some stuff he can do. He can do it slow. Yeah. So uh, I think that will be much to their benefit. I actually really like Echo coming out of the jungle because his his damage is, is just like ridiculous. Even, oh, yeah. Even if you don't build Rude Grave, if you just go Cinder Hulk Echo, it's just like it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's one of those junglers that doesn't rely on their ultimate for successful ganks. He can use his ultimate, but it's it's so defensive that to have a good gank. You don't need to pull that ultimate off, so at level three or four, Echo can come in and just, like, just start smashing. Yeah, he can do parallel divergence into the uh, his Q, mm -hmm. which is, I actually don't know the name of his Q. I don't think it has a name. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Brian didn't name his Q. They didn't name it, they just called his Q. So, I would actually expect to see then Echo prioritizing top and mid first. I think he's not going to have the best time ganking bottom lane just because Lucian has to dash out, and it's Alistair. Yeah. Ganking an Alistair is just, it's a headbutt, <laughs> it's tough, yeah. Get headbutted out. Even if Morgana lands a great binding, Alistair's still not in too much trouble. Yeah. Um, whereas a pre-6 Malphite has no escape besides his flash. Yeah. A pre-6 yeah. Vigar, if he burns his Q in lane, or I'm not sorry, I'm not his Q, uh, his, his Event Horizon in lane, if Lulu can bait that out, and then the Echo can come in, Afterward, it's another easy gank onto him. So yeah, yeah, it does. It does look like it does look like Echo has has some really nice lanes to gank for here. I think because even if Morgana gets a good binding, uh, Echo can throw out his W's parallel conversions and just close that distance and get another lockup stun on him. Mm -hmm. And it'll just be it'll be a nightmare for for silent gaming, I think. And this team comp is actually very strong against what silent gaming has right now. I think. Because, I mean, they do have the J, the, the J4 pick isn't to be overlooked, though, because he can get into the back and really annoy that Tristana. Uh-huh, absolutely. Really annoy that Tristana. Because even if even if uh, Lulu, you know, polymorphs, polymorphs to the J4, you still have to worry about the Malphite going into the mm -hmm. back. And you can't underestimate the E damage from from Malphite, his his fist pound, into the ground, because it, it, it scales off of armor. So as long as he keeps building armor, mm. which is the majority of the damage I would expect to come out right. of here, because Echo... Echo has good base damage, but he doesn't mm -hmm. have good scaling damage. Sure. So with Wukong, with Wukong and Tristana really being the heavy damage dealers, he'll be building a decent amount of armor, so I think he'll be okay. I really think it's going to be a matter of whether or not Purple Team's comp can outlast Silent Gaming and uh, whether, or not, um, whether or not they can really deal with a lot of the mid-game team fighting that's going to come out. Yeah. Because if Silent Gaming gets the team fight they want, they're almost certain to come out ahead. Yeah. If if they get peeled on and there's a lot of disengage, that's when FMA is going to do so much more of that damage if, if they can kind of get that second wave fight after they peel back after J4 and Malphite and Vigar all have used their ults right. and they can come in on the back line again. FMA is going to just wreak havoc on these fights. So... I'd expect to probably see a lot of silent gaming looking for picks. Anyone's barely out of position, Malphite, Mytolton, Vega would 
pop event horizon right on them so the second they move stunned again yep. and then pick up the kill clean and quickly there yeah that's the best win condition for silent gaming in my opinion yeah and the thing is is that since vegar is scaling with that ap he can he can delete that mm -hmm. that echo lulu or or morgana with relative ease so it'll be interesting to see if if the teams can can pull off at least what we think they're aiming for in their comps well, as we load in, let's take a quick look at the bracket again. This is the loser's semifinals. That means that Silent Gaming or FMA will take then the next game against LOLA. Both of them have lost to LOLA, uh, FMA, just before Silent Gaming. So that means then that either of these teams, if they wanted to be LOLA, would need to come in and win twice just to take that away just to make it back and be two games in a row against, against what I'm expecting to be hard teams for either. Like, Silent Gaming and MMA, in my opinion, seem to be relatively well matched. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a great match. One of our closest games of the day, for sure. Yeah, and I'm really excited because as we are loading onto the Rift, we can see that there's some pretty basic buys coming out. You Malphite getting that cloth, picking up a couple of mana potions and health potions mm. for a bit more sustain in lane against that Wukong, who picked up the Crystalline Flask and the health potions because he does get pretty mana hungry in lane if you're not careful. Um, Silent Gaming actually doing the same cheese that they would do if they were on red side. Just I know, just on blue side. Just on blue side, trying to sneak down into that tri bush and see if they can catch anybody out. And we'll see if FMA actually will. FMA oh, is going to get there. It looks like spot. we are on a cat crash course. Oh, yeah, oh, baby. Are, baby. Oh, yeah, 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 baby. Yeah, yeah, there's... Oh, it looks like they may be trying to re-engage here. If Morgana can land a Q onto the Vega. Oh, oh my boy. goodness. This actually isn't terrible for me. I think this is the fight that Silent Gaming wanted. They're pushing it in. Judgment's gone too deep now, but Vegar's going to die to the Ignite. Vegar is going to die to the Ignite. First blood. First blood by the Wukong, and it looks like Alistair might even die. Oh, we're going to see second blood here. This is bad. The binding from Morgana is going to be up in a second. No. That's two down. That is two, two early, early kills. Four FMA, and that's gonna put that's gonna put Silent Gaming even farther behind. That's four summoners on each side too, so it's not like Silent Gaming came out ahead in summoners or anything. No, actually they they lost in summoners as well. I think. Uh, I think it was four on each side. One, two, three, four. One, two. Yeah, but the big flashes are up still. You still got flash on Tristani. You still got flash on Lulu. The flash on Vegar is down. Um, the flash on J Four is down. So some of the some of the big flashes are down. Uh, I think it's a pretty even trade actually. Like you said, I changed my mind. I'm on your side again. So we'll have to we'll have to check and see. It looks like they're going for a lane swap, and Malphite is not expecting to get any wards out on that side. Mm. So it is going to be really strong. They're not even giving the full lane swap just because the double jungles are coming here, too. So that could be. Oh, it looks like they're putting Wukong in the mid lane to deal with that Vagar because of that early start. He got he took that uh, first blood gold that he got, and he actually went and got a longsword to start with, so it looks like he's going to rush down that Black Cleaver, or rush down that Brutalizer, and, and then go into the Black Cleaver from there. And just look at that damage that he's able to put down onto him. I don't know that that's going to continue on. I think Simon can, can turn that around pretty easily, as they are. Ugh, that level one. So, or that one health. So infuriating. Yeah. Unless it prevents you from accidentally taking buffs you're trying to give to somebody else. Ugh. They are getting some free heat. Free AP there with his Vengeful Bail. I'd be expecting to see Echo looking for the gank mid sooner rather than later. They're going to try to get this blue up to Nile and do a three buff start. Oh, looks like they're just going to straight take it because they've got the lane swap at the top. They're going to try to rush down this top on the turret. Yeah. Silent Rain holding out okay so far. Um, J4 is going to lose his blue though, and Aldana is going to be there for the XP. They're going for the three push down to try to get this tower before top lane tower goes. Just trying to beat Echo there. Malphite is going to be in trouble. He's not the best at surviving dives pre-level six before that knockup comes through. Very well conversion. Not going to happen for him. But they're trying to dive right here. Oh, uh, he got hit. What a great yeah. binding. Mm. That was an excellent binding by Morgana. Skirting it right past that minion. Silent Gaming is on their back foot already Ugh. three and a half minutes into the game and they are not doing that. Filter and entering it already 2k gold down. Yeah, that is that is a really, really bad start for Silent Gaming. He's gonna use his teleport to come back into the lane. Um just because oh they might be oh, able to catch boy. Yep, she's in trouble, she flashes out though. 
She flashed the ground pound from Alistair, um, able to dodge that out. If she didn't, she would have been dead for sure by that Lucian. And they, neither team got a turret, so they stayed pretty even except for that kill that they got on Malphite in the top lane. I don't think Silent's so far gone. They've had a pretty bad start, but their comp is not an early game comp anyway. Yeah, they just have to be careful because any any missteps that they have in the earlier or early part of the mid game can really really trigger the the late game comp that mm -hmm. uh, that FMA is working on as we speak. I think it's a pretty big oversight leaving Malphite alone to push top up. Oh, right as I say that, there's the teleport coming in from the top laner. Yeah. So we'll be back to standard lanes. Tristana with a kill in her back pocket and a pickaxe feels like she can take on Lucian, no problem. And they actually did a smart thing by putting Wukong in the lane because it kind of takes, it kind of negates the whole point of Vigor's, Vigor's R at least, Vigor's ult. Um, but it's still pre six, so right now it's not making a huge difference. But Lulu is able to bully this, this Malphite around at least a little bit. Uh, you see right, like if you just take a look at the CS differentials, it's actually not bad except for top lane. Top lane got decimated. Twenty CS differential with a, with a kill. Mid lane up by four and bot lane up by or down by three on silent gaming side. Oh good game Here coming up from J4. Drag. Yep. Is he gonna get the flag drag? He got the slow down from Malphite. I think it's wait to get polymorph and then get the flag drag after we hit. Yep, there it is. I didn't need the drag, the flag. That was a really good gank by J4. They good knew turn that around, yeah. they knew that Lulu didn't have her flash or her teleport, so now they should be able to free push top. Yep. Shorten the gold lead to uh to just a thousand too. Yep. Vager had to burn his flash to survive that mm -hmm. game from Echo, but Echo comes back in for the to do some damage. Um, that was a level 3 Echo damaging my level 5 I go too. Yeah. Like I said, uh, Echo has really high base damages. So even coming out of the jungle out the early game, because he can do that percent health stuff that he's got. He is he is very strong. Kyoto missing an easy CS there by accident. I actually hope, for Echo's sake, that these early ganks... Uh, if I'm Echo, I'm going to be hoping that the early ganks I pulled off are going to do a lot to snowball my lanes, just because he just hit level 4 now. He's a whole level behind Jarvan, who's 5. Um, he's a whole level behind most of the people, like Tristana and Morgana, will be hitting 5 well before him. So he's definitely the last... Uh... The Vagar damage is not there yet. Mm -hmm. uh, failed gank in the bot lane, they're pinging out. Pinging out that J4, looks like he's about to get caught out, maybe. Nah, I don't see why. The Vail of Avengers will hurt, though. Oh, Light Drag at safety. Oh, oh boy, Tristana's taking a lot of damage, but now Silent is in trouble. He's going to have to run for his left, and we'll run auto effects, and they do it. Flashes up, but there's a biting. It's going to catch Alistair now. They're getting on with Duo from Heaven. He's going to get a good Echo shot in. They cannot fight this one out anymore. They have to back off. That was a really good gank by Echo for the counter gank. J4 came in a little too late after he disengaged um, Alistar. Illusion were out of position to try to fight that. They should have just backed off there, um, because if they if they had, they would have been in a safe position to do that. Now they lost it. Um, now bot lane is going to be even farther behind. Tristana sitting on a whole kill and three assists and seven CS up, and they should be able to get a lot of this power. One thing I want to touch on from Silent Gaming, they made a pretty big mistake. Vagar and Malphite walked through River to swap lanes on one another, and then instantly Vagar gets there and he goes back. Yeah, because he, he had that really bad trade with Lulu in the top lane. He thought he could do more damage to her. He event horizoned and he did a dark matter drop on her. And she shielded right away, so he didn't do any damage. Mm -hmm. And then she just polymorphed Q'd, pixed him. And now he just took tons of free damage. He lost about <coughs> almost, almost half his health, actually. He was at full health and he lost about half of it there. He's having to walk back now. No teleport. Yeah, his teleport won't be up for another about 20 seconds or so. Uh, he did hit level 6, so he does have his ult. But they actually did a lane switch on him again, so Lulu is back against that Malphite. They are just not, they don't have the wards necessary to keep up these lane switches. No, they do not. The good news is, Dragon coming up, Malphite, or I'm sorry, Wukong, not with a teleport, Vigar with a teleport. So if Silent Gaming wanted to, they could possibly pull off a 4 to 5 Dragon. Lamp's taking that binding for Kyoto to keep him alive, keep him safe. Freezing this lane here so that way it doesn't collapse under tower because right now Lucian just does not have the damage. Sure, they have to play that safely under tower. They have no vision of the river. Meanwhile, on the side of FMA, vision is all over the river. Yeah, and Vagar actually is taking a ton of damage. It looks like he's going to die here. He threw way, way too long to throw out that of the horizon. But they may turn it back around on Lulu. She does have ult. 
does have ult. Uh, oh, but there's an echo coming in from the plane drive. That it doesn't matter. Double. Lulu's done so. The Hal Duo from Heaven is going to be in trouble if he can't run away fast enough. Yeah, he's going to be able to make it out there. He's not level <coughs> 6 yet, so he can't ult no. away, but he didn't take a lot of free damage for that. He tried to save that Lulu. If he had a little bit more items, I think he probably could have at least tried to kill one of them. Silent Rain, super low, so it doesn't have any mana. No, there's not much he can do with a fight under tower here. If he gets stowed upon, I hope he can save it, you know. He has flash, he can do that other side of the tower flash trick. Yeah, that's really cheesy, I like that trick. Um, so, in bot lane, we huge lead coming out from Tristana, 14 CS, almost a whole kill up. Uh, she's probably gonna go back here and get maybe, uh... Maybe an Avarice Blade, probably no, not. I'm, I'm expecting BF. No, she does Well, she does know. Uh, she does. She had set. She had one point seven four. We both were wrong. I was like, what? she probably doesn't have enough for it. Right. Oh, did you say you, you were? Yes. I thought you said you weren't. Never mind, you were right. I was wrong again. Yeah. Alistair's gonna clear out this pink. No, he's not. Nope, he's just gonna leave there. And he's gonna put a place of dragon at war, and I was gonna take the pink out. I got again running back. Yep. Silent Gaming at least trying to get a little bit more control of the vision game here. Actually, it looks like the mid gank. Does Malphite have ult? He does not yet. Malphite doesn't have ult for another... But she doesn't see this, and she's approaching his side of the lane. She's if I'm back, I'm going now, yep. Yep, the vent right. She's gonna dodge it. She's gonna slow her. She's gonna get this is the dark matter, but she's gonna die. Anyway. Yeah, it looks like she's pretty toast here. She's got no flash. The Vanguard doesn't have any way to go right now. There it is. Except that way. That's right. He doesn't have. He doesn't have his ult up to go right now. <laughs> he has no way to, to you know delete her. At least. This could be a dragon play. Yeah, Wukong's gonna... still top. Has been and I, they'll probably go for a dragon here. Would be my guess, and we'll try to force down that bot lane. Looks like they just want this mid tower. Vagar just getting out just in time for that parallel to Wukong trying to trade he'll here. He'll push on the second tower top. Morgana with the late binding. Oh, Giotti is going to die though. Uh, oh, yep. yep. Oh, nice play from the A4 now. And then Morgana is in trouble here because now that has ulted, he absolutely needs it. Yep, there's the ult. Good attack onto the Morgana now. With the help of the Alistair, she's gonna go down. No, he flashes, but he gets overconfident, and the punch does not kill her. That actually may mean Echo can get out a okay and unscathed from this one. Lulu's trying to come back in to prevent this dragon, and I think she'll actually be able to. The sight of that Lulu alone may scare them off, especially without the TP on Vagar there. Yeah, just getting that early kill, the early kill on the Lulu. This is bad for Silent Moon. Yeah, yeah those early kills were really just behind because then Lulu was able to rush down to try to get that Ravnus Hydra. So he could build into that vamp scepter and build into that key mat. Sure. You can't really blame the early kills so much anymore because they come back, they've stopped. They've stopped letting the spread grow so much, they're still three kills down, but they're getting back their own kills. It's just the fact that they've lost the tower, now they're losing the dragon, and they don't have anything to answer back for them, except five and the kill. Yeah. And J4 has really no way to flag the dragon. He's got this he's got this light up, but he's not even gonna test it, which is cute to die. What looked like it was going to be an easy drag kill for Silent Gaming got turned around because they just hung around too long and got caught out. They had the chance and they didn't take it, yep. Yeah. Instead they pushed mid tower, which probably I don't think took that much damage, no? No, they barely, they barely touched mid tower. They're just trying to pick fights against the very, very safe bot lane. Yep, now Lucian taking his time getting back in the lane, running towards mid lane, but then deciding she just mind to go back towards bot and try to that push. Um, they are not getting what he needs to this game to get going. No. I don't know. Can we check and see how much farm he has on his Q? Maybe? Can you click on it? Check it here. Here, that's right here. Yeah, so he's got 55 bonus ability power right now from his Q so far, which isn't that bad. It's actually pretty good. Um, it's just not what we need to do. Good, good idea to push that ward there so you can see that Wukong. Don't get insta gift again, that'd be good. Echo picking up his blue, trying looking to rotate towards bot lane. For yeah, they're not going to see this. They have no vision, and they could get Doki really easily. And then Malphite actually just missed him, so we'll see. It looks like they're going to be. They're looks like they're going to try to dive it. Yep, looks like a really easy dive to me as soon as this wave gets here. They're yep. going to take their time. Kyoti backing off because he thinks he's he sees a bit of a problem there. He's pretty right. He does. You got Malphite coming in from the top of all that go. Uh, you got Lulu actually going to split push top and Wukong. Yeah, coming in. Yeah, they can engage on this if they want to. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try to fight him 43. He's going to be spotted out here. They'll know. Lulu's teleport is ready. I'm sure she's already got her finger hovering that key. There's tons of wards that they could jump to if they needed to. There's so many wards in bot lane. It's great ward coverage by FMA. Um, Wukong's had time to run down too. 
Yeah, Wukong's just kind of sitting, waiting to see what happens. Oh, there's the ultimate in. That's what's happening. Lucian now doing a ton of damage with that color. Lulu's going to be jumping in on the back line, but she may be too late. Duo from Heaven gets an ult, but it's not going to be enough. It's going to take the Lulu ult to save him. And now the ult from, uh, from Wukong's going to do so much as Rastana's picking up a double kill. Silent Moon's going to connect with the ball, because he should not have jumped on in there. And it's a three death, four death for just one right now. They only killed the support and ended up getting a triple kill to the Tristana. Yeah, right now that was a terrible fight. Lucian actually ended up in the back line of... FMA there, he was extremely out of position to try to do anything. He got knocked up by the Wukong. You know, they kept they kept it pretty well pretty well safe, but the Wukong just flashed out of it. Knocked up. Knocked up that Lucian in the back line and he just he just fell apart. You know, it was four, four, a couple positioning errors, you know, the engage from Malphite was strong and the engage from Alistair was strong, but they just don't have the burst yet to take down those carries that they got. And Lulu actually survived that whole fight. I mean, it looked like she was gonna die there. So now that now it's just like uh now basically FMA is just gonna pillage through the jungle of silent gaming and they're just not gonna be able to make it out. They're definitely in position to snowball this one from here. Yeah. And they've gotten all three outer turrets. Oh, I'm sorry, no, they've gotten two in bot lane and one in top. The mid turret's actually still standing. But there's still three turrets up in gold at only 15 minutes here. A 7k gold. Yeah, and Dragon's gonna be. Dragon timer is not up yet, so it's going to be a little bit before that. So they kind of have a chance to take a breather and get some ward coverage out on the side of Silent Gaming. Hopefully they can get some good wards out. I would definitely recommend, if they have got the goal for it, to try to recommend, or to try to invest into some ward trinkets. Um, or the upgraded trinket just to get more wards out on the field because right now wards win games because they're not winning games anymore. And they're just missing the rotation. They didn't see Wukong coming in from Riverside. They didn't see anybody coming in. Alistair getting caught in mind they're not the deal. It'll be fine. Lulu doesn't have teleport, but she is coming down. Malphi pretty much just needs to push this one out. He's got teleport, he needs to stay in that lane. Yeah, he's trying to get some farm because he is drastically underpowered right now. Oh, he's no, down. Wukong could catch him here. Oh. oh, so close and absolutely heartbreaking if you are just. Oh, we got a fight going on in We lane. sure do. A dive actually. The hyper is going to be in the on the rampage, getting up under the tower duo from heaven. Kills Dingus now, and Lulu takes the tower aggro, but she's not in any trouble. It's a three for nothing. Yeah, it was really. Not really much to say about that fight. They just. Why didn't Alphite like run down? Why didn't he teleport? If you had teleported, you wouldn't. <coughs> I don't think so. He's trying to engage now. 1v2, or 2v4. He already gets hit by that parallel conversion yeah. in the back line. He's gonna die. I mean, Two maybe if Malphite had been there to try to do that when the whole squad was, when Jarvin could have come in there, when Vanguard could have dropped some bombs, but. Instead, they just went up and Tyler Severly Rain not doing what he needs to right now. Yeah, that Malphite pick is not working for them right now. Just, just the fear. Like, they just got. I, I still think that, that those early game kills and the early game advantage that they slowly built up really started snowballing this late, this mid to late game team comp. Is kind of what I was afraid of on the part of you know, afraid of poor silent game. Lucian. Four deaths to his game and only two assists. Yeah. And Barely has those two components of his IE, whereas Tristana's already got it built. Yeah, just the out rotations as well. From from FMA just straight up out rotating uh, silent gaming, you know, with the whole with the uh, doing the the double lane pop. It may not have worked out to get the power push, but it put pressure on bot lane. They stole the blue away from Jarvin in the early game. You know, they took a lot of stuff away and then and it was just it was just a snowball from there, I think. Oh yeah. And if you actually look on uh, if you look up close to the pit, there's tons of vision there already. Mm. There's just tons of vision on topside jungle and topside river. You know, just it looks like they want to get a split push going there just to keep them safe. Sure. Prior to now the fastest 10k gold lead we'd seen was twenty one minutes, but this comes in at eleven K in only eighteen minutes. An incredible talk about a snowball. Uh, you know, Evan's going in, actually. He may be a little too forward. If I got the Event Horizon comes out, but the Black Shield is on him, and they're not going to be able to do too much to him right now, just have to disengage. Lulu. He's taking way too much damage. He's not going to be able to do it. He's going to be able to do it. He's trying to do it. Easy. Well, actually, he missed that smite. He didn't smite at all. They just... Wukong didn't? No, no uh, Echo didn't Echo smite. Echo didn't smite at all. He didn't even try to. 
Looks like we're gonna try to teleport line to top, top, top lane to stop that one. Oh, but there's a fight right as he teleports out. They actually get in on it very nicely. Now by Wombo comes doing a lot. J4 is coming in. They're gonna kill the Tristana. She's all the damage. No, they're not gonna kill it. Yes, they are. I lied to you twice. Then they get it down. The shutdown is coming through. Double kill for Lucian as they're going in onto Siler. Nope. Looks like we've got a uh, Wukong oh. coming in from the bot. Renegade Lulu, the Wukong coming in too. Looks like they're gonna be trying to run for the life. Kia has to run. Lance has to run. Dingus runs back in, and there's the Vigar trying to get in on it, but he's not going to do enough first before Judgment can just absolutely strike him down. Yeah, and that's the thing. Vigar was trying to come in on that fight, and he was just totally out of position to try to make that work. Looks like Alistar is going to live through that Ignite. And just everybody on the side of Silent Gaming just so low. They did manage to get the shutdown on that Tristana, and after she picked up two kills, which was really sure. cool. He did manage to finish the IE and pick up the boost for safety, which is a pretty good pickup, but Wukong is just so far ahead right now. 5 0 and 372 CS at 19 and a half minutes. He's already finished his last Whisper, his Merc Tread, and his Red Tiger. He is so strong right now. Wukong can just destroy anybody on the enemy team, I think. Talk about a snowball. Yeah, and, and just Vayar has been caught in that position so many times trying to rotate into these fights and do this. The fights are already over by the time he gets there, so when he comes in trying to kill one person, he can't do it. He just, there's so much peel on the side of FMA. That Alistar is, is so busy trying to peel for that Lucian because there's just so much dive that way. He can't even try to try to help the Vagar at all. It's just a really bad position for, I believe, for Silent Gaming right now. Absolutely, Silent Gaming being silenced. Pretty painfully, too. This is... Not an easy position to recover from if you don't have a single yeah, They are they are down by 11k, a full 11k at 20 and a half minutes, and they have no way to. Unless they get a really good fight, and, it, and FMA just makes a really poor decision making. I think this thing is pretty much sure. Or unless FMA goes in one by one to constantly get comboed, and then a Baron comes out from Silent Gaming. Not too much you can do on the power play. That actually would have been a good catch if they could get on the echo there. Yeah, they didn't see how many people were in top of it. Yeah, that it looks like the pings are actually good. coming through. Now, they, they at least blues, uh, at least uh, Silent Gaming does have some good ward coverage on their own so they're not going to get caught out with stuff in there. They may just, uh... Like oh oh boy, here's Wukong right. coming in on the judgment, but he's going to get himself caught, actually. This is one of those picks that could be what we were talking about. It's two ults wasted already on him, but it will be the shutdown on the Lucian, funneling more necessary gold into that team, and it looks like they want to chase. Yeah, Silent, Silent Moon actually using his ult on Wukong, which I don't totally agree with. They didn't need the burst. He was already caught out, and he was going to die. I don't think, because it didn't really do that much damage anyway, because of the AP scaling. Uh, not the AP that the yeah, he's getting cocky, but that's a fight in. A good shot from Malphite. Double down with the flag and drag, but that will be the ult. On to Echo, the double ult as Lulu gets hers in, as he does as well. They're pulling in. Now Lamps is trying to get the engage, but he's not going to be able to make it. And it looks like they'll just disengage. Yeah, it was a good engage by Silent Gaming there after finding out the group. After Wukong got caught up, the group and it looks like they may try to have a contest for this tower, but... Hey, 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 that that's their first tower. There we go, they got some much needed gold, cut that gold lead down to 10k. That's actually going to be very mentally beneficial for Silent Gaming, just to say, hey, we got something, we grouped up, we picked it. Yeah, they did. They did got a, they got a good pick there. Um, it looks like they're gonna try to do um, at least clear out wards around Baron. Ne not necessarily do it, but uh, at least get get the wards out. Well, oh, to be honest, a teleport yeah. coming in. FMA actually, is still definitely in position to do Baron here. They are definitely gonna do Baron, and Silent Gaming is gonna try to catch up, but not fight. It's going to teleport in. Uh, Doesn't have ult yet. Oh, oh, oh but he Echo die. may die. If they can get into the backline, they might be able to kill Echo. They have a lot that. of backline tools as well. Echo has to jump out. Just is taking so much damage from the Baron still. This is such a throw if they pull it off. There's Kyote on a rampage, killing the Morgana. Lance goes down, but Soul is going to be the next one as Horizon falls. Oh, man. That was an extremely good fight by Silent Game. Extremely great throw from FMA is more like it. Yeah. That right. was no business on the Baron there. Yeah, they, they tried to rush down the Baron and it, I think Echo thought his shield was going to protect yeah. him more from his parallel convergence and it just did not do what he wanted it to that do. That was, yeah. Honestly, the Baron call wouldn't have been so bad if Echo had not just just tossed it. Yeah, just keeping all those Baron shots right at the beginning there. In a Baron. And just like that, Silent Game probably thinks they're right back in this. Yeah, I mean, they're only down by 8k. They kept Goldie by 2k just from that one fight. Oh, yeah. And now they're dropping it again now because of that tower. They've yeah. got three towers down now. That's actually... Um, wait. 
Yeah, they do. Yeah, because yeah, they just got the actually. inner. Cool. Yeah, and they actually might get some get some good damage on that top lane turret as well. It's not going to fall, but it'll at least get some damage on it. I think that if, if I'm silent gaming right now, I'm prepping for this dragon. Yeah, it looks like they're putting the wards out, but they're not going to be able to clear out that peak ward because it's just too risky, so that ward that they placed is not going to be very beneficial for them, but they need to get their back timers, and they need to start running back towards Baron because you've got it in 30 seconds. And they've done a good job of identifying the problem. Ding, 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 ding. And trying to deal with it. The problem is for them now, they're growing multiple problems. Echo is getting up there with his itemization, with his gold now, with having that Zanya's. Judgment coming through here with Ravenous Hydra and the Last Whisper just to dunk on that Malphite and Jarvan even harder. Yeah, it looks like he's actually about to finish his Black Cleaver as well, building Ugh. that Phage into the uh, the Health Crystal, the Ruby Crystal. So he's going to have that Black Cleaver oh, probably after this, this next fight. This is dangerous. This oh, is there so is. dangerous. And Rain will be almost surely killed here, but they're having a hard time focusing on him. He's not even going to be able to pop his ult off. He will be able to kill Silent Moon. Gets the 300 gold there. That's the second kill coming in onto Rain now. And now Kyoto is on the run for his life. Judgment so big and right in his face. Not even going to die. Not even going to be killed by the Alistair, the Summoner Heal. And that's going to be the clean, clean ace coming out from FMA. They don't want the dragon. They want the inhibitor. There was just no, there was no vision around the dragon pit for silent gaming so they just had to to walk right toward that bush in a straight line yep and they were all in terrible position wukong just eat straight into the back line and just took out that vagar instantly vagar had no impact on that fight his event horizon was all over the place it wasn't even centralized around the fight area i think what's wrong with that for me is that silent gaming was trying more to salvage and engage than to peel for their team yeah and it looks like we've got teleport coming in from vagar but he's not gonna be able to we'll try to drop his dark and it doesn't even matter if you put the war down for the timing because you get the timer from the anyway. Red Ding's on Baron. That goes out of that way. Yeah, it looks like they want to try for the Baron again, which actually might not be a bad call. Well, now they've got these bad boys pushing right in. Yeah, and they've got top lane pushing in really hard, so it looks like Rain is going to have to go to the top lane to try to cut that down. Kyoti trying to pick up that red buff for that peel against the Wukong. We'll see how this will go. I don't know. It'll be interesting to we're back to 11, boys. We are back to 11. Looks like the cooldowns are all up for everybody. Everybody has their ultimates up for this next fight almost. Alistar almost has his ultimate up. Rain almost has his ultimate up. Echo will have his ult up. This is going to be a really crazy fight. This could be the fight to, to end the game here if they try to go for the Baron again. Looks like they're going to try to catch out the, uh, catch out the Wukong. Oh, no. They're just going to disengage Lulu with the nice, the nice Glitter Lance. Silent Game is still... Relevant just because their team comp can punish the inherent squishiness of FMA. Wukong has gone almost exclusively damage. There's the ult in from Malphite. He's going in. Jarvan coming in with some combo convolution on the back line, but he jumps really, really close to Echo. He could be in trouble. Echo holds back. Dingus goes down. He is the first one to fall. Rain looks to be the second one to Cyber Horizon. Will pick that one up. Lamps now on the run for his life. Moon's going to fall as well. Judgment trying to get back in there, but he dashes into four of them just by himself. There's a flash in from Echo. There's the smite. He's not going to make it back into the gate, and he does go down. That looks like it will be the game. Yeah, it looks like they're just going to try to push up that mid and just take it out. That's a dead inhibitor the, with the uh, inhibitor is dead. The inhibitor is dead. Alright, looks like they're just going to push down the this game. This is definitely the GG coming out from FMA. Making such short work of silent gaming. Yeah, their comp their combo is just in general a lot stronger. The Wukong got too strong too fast. And too oh, they snowballed it so, so early and then they just all fell apart for silent gaming. Very much the same story against LOLA in this game. It was silent gaming. Played okay in the early game, but they just lost too many small things too fast. And this is a more obvious example of snowballing. This, I think, is the, the hardest snowball game we've seen the entire tournament. Yeah. But it's the same story. Silent gaming cannot fall behind early, or they are absolutely donezo. Yeah, and it's a really disappointing loss for silent gaming having come into this I'm coming to this tournament being really strong and then just winning their first three games and then just getting hit in the fourth round and just getting hit again in this round. You know, Absolutely. It's, it's got to be heartbreaking. With that, FMA will go on to the finals, putting Silent Gaming at a comfortable third. Not a bad showing for KSU, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching us cast the KSU games today. On behalf of Brian Starkey and myself, we appreciate you tuning in. Take care. See you.